Hello, everybody. I hope y'all are doing great. We are starting out our day today at Lava Tree State Park. And as you can see, we are all alone. <laughs> I came by here yesterday, but it was packed. So I was like, nah, I'll wait. So I decided I would get up and come this morning. And there's Boo. Although he is kind of dirty, but yes, there he is. So, this is a really cool place. Oh, I forgot to turn the do not disturb on. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to get up here to where I can read some things to you um, about the park. Because, unfortunately, I'm not that familiar with it. So, that way you can get some info on it that is correct and that they know exactly what they're talking about. I will give you the scenery view. I'm trying to walk kind of slow. And it probably sounds like Rice Krispies because my flip-flops are like probably have rocks stuck under them. A little pavilion. Okay, let's see if we can fix the rock problem a little bit. Uh, no, no, well, maybe a little better. So things have been going pretty well um, since Boo got here. I've been getting out and running around a lot, and well, pretty much every excuse I can find, you know, to go run into Hilo or run into Pahoa or wherever. But it has been quite fun. Oh no. I hear rain. Darn it. Well, we'll stand up under here for a minute. And I will read you what this says. The Forest of Lava Trees. The 0.7 mile path takes you through a forest of lava tree molds of various sizes and shapes. Allow 30 minutes for a leisurely walk on the loop route. The path is paved, but there are slight inclines as the path follows the natural topography. The path may also be wet and slippery after periods of rain. Da -da -da -da. Let's go down here. Huh. There are around 85 lava tree molds preserved in the park. You will be able to view about 40 of these molds along the path. Climbing and touching the molds will hasten their deterioration and collapse, so no touching. Over the time, the new forest of Ohia trees has become established. A similar forest would have existed at the time of the lava flow. As you walk along the path, compare this forest with the lava molds. The burning of the trees and the draining of the lava left a diversity of sizes and interesting shapes. Some of the molds have fallen and broken, while others are in various stages of collapse from natural causes. Creating a lava tree mold. Top one here. A growth of mature ohia trees with an understudy of lulohe ferns covers these lands of Puna, which are part of Kilauea Volcano. The plants thrive in the rich, moist, organic soils formed atop the earlier flows of Pahoehoe lava. In the 17th or 18th century, a fiery eruption of Kilauea sends red-hot lo lava flowing down the slopes of the volcano, crackling and thundering sounds of falling and burning trees follow in the wake of the lava flow. The tree molds record the maximum thickness of the lava as it passes the Ohia trees. 
As the lava recedes, a stark black landscape remains. The ropey texture of the Pohoihoi lava marks the exterior of the molds as the lava cools and hardens against the tree trunk. In a matter of months, new life appears with the growth of lichens and ferns in the moist cracks of the lava. Pretty interesting. And while we were reading that, it stopped sprinkling. So this is one. Beautiful, it's so lush and green. Here is a forest of Tahoea trees with their red, the Hua flowers covers this land over 200 years ago. A variety of Hapu'u, Luhi, and sword ferns carpet the forest floor. Lele vines climb the ohia trunks while bird nest ferns perch in the branches. The flow of hot lava scorches the land as it burns and covers everything in its path. As the trees burn and the lava cools, the lava molds remain. Within years, new growth appears in the lava cracks where moisture collects. It really is just amazing and this looks like wild pigs there's a lot of that through here so at night they must just run rampant in here because i see it all over there's another one so it's kind of cool we're the only ones here today. I like it. I don't have to worry about anybody else getting in the video. I mean, the scenery enough here, just the lush foliage is enough to come here for, actually. So nice. And I will see if we can, if there's some that maybe we can look into without really disturbing them. Once again, watch where you're going, D. look this one there's a really tall one here and it has what looks like oh I hope you guys can see it I don't know if you can it's kind of dark um, a tree growing out of the top of it let's see maybe you can see it now there are all shapes and all sizes It's just amazing. And there's little plants growing off the top of that one. And this is where the tree fell. I had to cut up. It has not been opened up back up that long. And we have the oh there's blue. It's trying to clear up a little bit.
I believe those are ferns. They are very, very thick. Very thick. I don't think we can see very far into there. Oh, wow, they were really rooting around in here. It is all torn up. Oh wow, there's a really big one. Let's see if we can walk up to this one. Very, very cool. Okay, that is definitely the biggest one we can see. Ferns are so lush. You can tell that this is Bowen. It gets a lot of rain. Beautiful. There's ferns and I hope you can see that a tree growing out of that one. It's amazing here. Life just comes back so quickly. Everything. Oh, let's go up here. This is kind of like a little pagoda. Oh, definitely gotta watch where I'm going. <laughs> you can see. Very cute. Just a bench. It's very nice. And I love how the posts are just, they're trees. They didn't like straighten them out or anything. They just put them on there and they're natural. Okay, guys. Back we go. I apologize that my phone keeps vibrating. Really have to remember to put on Do Not Disturb. Somehow I always forget. There's a shot there of the tree. 
That's a pretty tree right there. Right in the middle. Of course, there are lots of pretty trees. Lots of pretty trees here. Oh, this one. Not only is this nice for a video, it's nice for a walk. And check out the trees here. A very nice path. It looks like there's trees all over that had fallen that they had to. Uh, Clear out, cut down. And there's another tree that had fallen. Oh, it's gonna start sprinkling again. That's okay as long as it doesn't like pour. I'm good. <laughs> I shall not melt. I believe this sidewalk here that is a different color, this is some they had to replace. It was damaged by trees falling. There's all over there. Oh, and it looks like that is the sidewalk that they took out of there. It was cracked, broken. This is so great having the place to ourselves. I guess that's where it pays off to be an early bird, huh? More pigs rooting around. I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can for y'all. I hope it is not too bad. There is an open area here. Looks like the ferns are growing all the way up that tree just about.
Oh, I didn't even notice that one the last time I was here. Very cool. I thought there was only one. That would be a very nice place to sit and relax. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's a crack in this one. Let's see if we can see the hole. No, not really. It's too dark. I couldn't even tell how far down it went. Yeah, it was kind of amazing the difference in color between the new sidewalk and the old one. What a contrast it was. There's another very tall one. Has plants growing out the top. Well, we are almost to the end. So my plan for today, when I leave, oh, this is a really cool tree. Sorry guys. My loop here is to go to Hilo. Um, I want to find some new shorts, so I'm going to go into Ross because no one else apparently has white shorts. So I'm going to try there. And when Scott and I went shopping yesterday, I forgot to get chips. So I'm going to stop at KTA and get chips. And... Might stop at McDonald's and get breakfast. Who knows? It's kind of weird. When I was in Florida, I really wouldn't go. I didn't go that many places by myself. You know, I just didn't mm. think, oh, it's not that fun, you know? But it's weird. Since I have been here, like when I lived in Florida, like my whole entire life, I don't think I ever went to a restaurant and like sat down and ate by myself. But since I have been here... I've done it twice. Granted, it's only been McDonald's. But, yeah. And you know what? I found out I don't mind doing it. So, that is the day I have planned. If it clears up, I really need to wash Boo. Because he's really dirty still. I have not washed him yet. Shame on me. But, that is my plan for today. Yes, I'm going to look for shorts because, well, very sad. I had a really cute pair of white shorts and I cannot figure out what happened to them. Somehow, they did not make it here. And I don't know why. So, going to see if I can find a replacement pair. Because I have other colors, but I want another pair of white ones. Oh, I see there was another path over there. 
So there is the warning sign to stay on the path because you never know what you're going to get, I guess, when you get off the beaten path. And the trees are just really pretty. Let's walk over here and see what this one says. Funny, I didn't notice this one last time I was here either. Let's see what it says. Cracks in the earth. Deep under the surface, fluid magma is able to travel from the summit of Kilauea and within the volcano's east rift zone, which extends well beyond the shoreline. Occasionally, the hot magma rises to the surface and erupts through cracks of fish or fissures in the lava. Lava fountains from the fissure create a lava flow. The crust of an active Pohoihoi lava flow is plastic and fractures easily. The cracks in the lava surface are often created by shrinkage upon cooling. Cracks can also be the result of breakage caused by the movement of the liquid beneath the crust. So this is where we are. Lava Tree State Monument. This is showing the rift zone and then this is showing how it comes up through the cracks very neat all right we are almost through this is a very nice, relaxing walk, I have to say. It's so quiet and so peaceful. There is another. Danger signs. Oh, here's where I get to use the leg muscles. Up the hill. And we are now back to the parking lot. And no one else has joined us yet. We are still all alone. Well, that was most enjoyable sharing that with you guys, and I loved nobody else being here. It was so great. Very pretty. Okay, guys. Until next time, y'all have a great one. Aloha.